I'm sure you've heard about apple cider vinegar and all of the things that it's supposed to miraculously do. And so that brings us to the question, apple cider vinegar, is it all hype or is there actually some research back help that it can give you for your health? That's what this video is about. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical experience. And in this video, we're gonna talk about apple cider vinegar. Is it worth the money? Can it actually improve your health? Or is it all just a bunch of bull? Now, if you know somebody who loves apple cider vinegar and thinks that it cures cancer and everything else, please share this video with them because this might help them understand that although not miraculous, apple cider vinegar does have some health benefits. If you know someone who thinks that apple cider vinegar is stupid and absolutely does nothing, you might also consider sharing this video with them because they could benefit from some of the things I talk about in this video. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you how to actually use apple cider vinegar in order to get the therapeutic effects that I talk about in this video. I'm going to tell you about five research-backed benefits that it looks like apple cider vinegar can actually give you. And then I'm gonna talk about one benefit that although there's no research to really back it up, there is thousands upon thousands of anecdotal reports from people just like me and just like you that report that apple cider vinegar does help with this one medical condition. So let's get into the research back benefits first. First of all, apple cider vinegar has been shown in controlled research in humans to lower postprandial insulin and glucose. And that means your insulin and glucose levels after you eat a meal. And so this is, this is a big deal because high blood sugar is obviously bad for you, but high insulin levels will actually make you store fat instead of burning fat. So that's a big deal. Number two, there's actually research in humans that shows that ACV, that's what we're gonna call apple cider vinegar to save time, actually causes more satiation or a feeling of fullness. So if you use apple cider vinegar, like I'm gonna tell you at the end of this video, you'll actually just not be as hungry. And so if you're trying to fast, you can fast for longer by implementing ACV into your fasting regimen. Or if you're just trying to go longer in between meals or trying not to snack, ACV can actually help you with that. And there's research to back that up. Number three, ACV can actually help lower your blood pressure. It, it looks like in the research, and this was a rat study, that's the only one I could find, but still it looks like that it actually decreases renin activity, which is intimately related with high blood pressure. And so people with high blood pressure, first of all, need to focus on their diet and getting that fixed. But secondly, ACV may help you along in your journey to lower your blood pressure. Uh, number four is fat loss. ACV has actually been shown in human research to increase the speed that you burn stored fat. And so fat loss is a big deal for most of us. And uh, first and foremost, again, is diet that I talk about on this channel all the time. But ACV may actually help you along your fat loss journey to help you burn more fat. Next is ACV actually improves fatty liver. Now, fatty liver is absolutely reversible with a low carb or a keto or a carnivore diet, but ACV, when you're first getting started, may help you burn the fat out of your liver even quicker than just with diet alone. Uh, that's the five research-backed reasons that you might use apple cider vinegar. And I put a link to all of the research down in the show notes. If you're on a, a laptop, then it's right there. If you're on a cell phone, you have to scroll through a bunch of video recommendations and then you'll see the show notes. I put the research there because I don't want you to ever blindly believe me. And I don't want you to blindly believe anybody, including the big health organizations, because people are people and sometimes we get it wrong. The last benefit I wanna tell you about before I get into how to actually use apple cider vinegar is heartburn relief or GERD or reflux. Uh, back when I was eating the standard American diet and even the paleo diet, I suffered from severe heartburn every single day. And I found that using apple cider vinegar, like I talk about below, really decreased my symptoms of heartburn and reflux. And so there's, there's yet to be a decent research study on this. There is a um, uh, master studies 
uh, doctoral thesis that I listed down below that does talk about this a little, but there needs to be better research done on all of these aspects of ACV, especially the heartburn relieving capability of ACV, because I have gotten reports from thousands of patients and people on social media saying, if I use ACV like you tell me to, my heartburn symptoms are drastically better. So heartburn, yeah, it worked for me. I used to keep a bottle of apple cider vinegar right there on my shelf in my cubby at my medical practice. And every time I had heartburn, I would take a little shot and it helped tremendously. Now, uh, let's talk about how to use apple cider vinegar. So first and foremost, you need to buy a reputable brand that contains the mother. And I put a link down in the show notes below to the apple cider vinegar that me and my family use and love all the time. Uh, you want to always shake up your apple cider vinegar before you use it so that you shake the mother up. That, the mother is the little cloudy stuff at the bottom. You don't want to leave that at the bottom. You want to shake that up and use that too. Uh, you want to use at least 15 milliliters a day of apple cider vinegar. And there's multiple different ways you can do that. You can just take a little five ml shot right before each meal. So you're getting your 15 mls a day. If you wanna use more, you can. There's no danger from apple cider vinegar that I've ever seen in any meaningful research. Some people just abhor the taste of apple cider vinegar. And so they'll mix it with four ounces of water. And then in, in two or three large gulps, you can get it down and it doesn't taste nearly as strong as if you just take a shot of it. You can also use apple cider vinegar to make an excellent oil and vinegar dressing. I would use avocado oil, olive oil, or coconut oil to make this dressing. You can put some herbs and spices in there. And don't think you have to just put the oil and vinegar dressing on salad. You can put it on any vegetable, whether it's raw or cooked. You can actually put it on your meat. I love dipping uh, sirloin steak bites into an oil and vinegar dressing. It's very delicious and you're probably getting some of the ACV benefits as well. One way that a lot of people who are doing low carb or keto like to use ACV is to make Keterade. And this is actually a drink that you can sip on during a fast and it doesn't break your fast or you can, you can drink it during the day if you like the taste of it. Uh, my wife and I did a video about this and I'm going to pop a link up to that recipe if you want to check it out. It's super easy to make. It costs about 10 cents a gallon to make it. And it, it, you could benefit from all of the benefits that I talk about in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please take one second and click the subscribe button right down below this video and the little bell icon right beside it so that every time I post a new video, you'll be one of the very first people to know. And also check out my book, Lies My Doctor Told Me, Medical Myths That Can Harm Your Health. It actually has multiple chapters and it can, talks about the 22 most common medical myths that doctors actually believe and will tell their patients. And these myths can absolutely lead to physical medical harm. And so check that out. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.